Hey guys, it's Sunday, May 29th. Welcome to an unexpectedly sunny day. The weatherman was reporting that we were going to have some rain, overcast skies, but he was drastically wrong today, which is good because we still don't have any plants in the ground and a couple days till, uh, till June 1st. So yeah, we uh, really gives you a sense of the, uh, the condensed growing season that, uh, that we have to work with. Yesterday, we were all set to, uh, to start planting. It was pouring rain, so that didn't help very much. Friday was a beautiful day, but everybody was at work, so that didn't help very much. And last night our youngest wasn't feeling too good, so I think I'm running on about uh, three hours of sleep, so that's probably not gonna help very much either. So any productivity is gonna be courtesy of coffee today, that's, uh, that's for sure. But gotta get these plants outside. We've started bringing the pepper plants outside during the day, inside at night, and these things are uh, taking up a good chunk of the, uh, the dining room table, so they're starting to get a bit annoying. And uh, yeah, time for them to go outside. We've waited a long time. The nighttime temperatures in our area are hovering around 10 degrees C at night, so pretty sure the risk of frost is long gone, at least hopefully. And uh, yeah, so we've got lots of work to do. So let's get started. It's going to be so much fun working. We're going to put up these fences so that the deer don't get into our garden. No, the groundhog. Gordon, remember him from last year? He's sneaky. Also the deer.
in the garden and we're going to plant the cucamelons. We had an issue last year. The cucamelon kind of survived the, the frost, kind of. But no, we need. They didn't, yeah. they didn't sur. They didn't survive the frost. They, some of them kind of did, but yeah. And okay, let's get started. Yeah, let's get started. This one right here. Okay. So the first thing you have to do is dig a hole. I want like, to watch this. With, with, with the shovel. And. Oh no, I don't think it's right on the That's good. Yeah, that's good. And, oh, there's a wormy. I want to plant one. Mm -hmm. And. Dig. Dig. That's good. It's good. I have to take this out. Oh no, I ripped off so much. Ooh. Yeah, it's tag two. Tag two. That's okay. Yeah. Really? Okay. So that. Come. Oh my goodness. This looks. Yeah. Really? Yeah. We'll put it closer to the other fence. Yeah. Yep. You want it to go up that fence. Yeah. Yep. And we just have to bury it. Wait. I'm gonna. Oh no! I'm breaking some of the roots. That's okay. Okay guys, it is Monday night. It's the next day. Yesterday, after all the work we did, I was not feeling good at all. Lack of sleep was definitely catching up to me and there was no way I was going to say anything on camera. It probably wouldn't have made wouldn't have made much sense anyway. But feeling a lot better today. So let's take a look at uh, all the beds that we've cleaned up and everything we put in the ground yesterday. Take a quick look and see how it's all doing. So two weeks ago we put pea seeds and bean seeds in the ground. We got a huge amount of rain this morning. And you can see peas are just starting to come up. Need one more piece of uh, chicken wire here. Go in front of this bed for the peas. But all three rows are coming up nicely just to keep the deer off of the uh, off and out of the gardens. The cucamelons survived the thunderstorm. The slicing cucumbers and pickling cucumbers or is it the other way around? I can't remember which which is which right now. Cherry plants looking looking good. Onion sets we put in the ground last weekend, already starting to show through. I was a little worried we were putting them in the ground uh, pretty deep, but don't really think it makes much difference. They're all starting to uh, to make their way up. Beets, nothing yet. Uh, but again, that rainstorm today gave them plenty of water, so I'm sure by next weekend we will uh, we'll have some plants showing through carrots still nothing coming up yet that's all right put some dill that we started inside it's looking pretty uh, pretty rough but it always ends up looking pretty rough uh, this is a new I think it's kohlrabi I'm not exactly sure um, part of the cabbage family so we're giving it a shot uh, this year asparagus is starting to come up this is as late as the asparagus have ever started uh, 
showing up in this bed, but we'll be harvesting well, at the rate they're growing. We will be harvesting them probably by next weekend. I'm gonna put a little bit of fertilizer on uh, on this bed, give them uh, give them some nutrients. These plants have been in here now for three years, four years. I don't even know the uh, the older, more mature plants have the much thicker stalks and then the younger plants are still uh, are still maturing but should have a good uh, good crop of asparagus this year now we put out the pepper plants yesterday they were looking a little rough they always look a little rough shortly after the transplant but they've all perked up again I have a little bit more work to do on the netting but once this is all sealed up these plants with the weed guard it's pretty self-sufficient we don't really need to uh, to go in here very much not many pests bother the uh, the pepper plants however in the last few years we found that the deer the deer will really chew them down to nothing so the netting here is mainly for for the deer on these plants and the next bed over Savoy cabbage, regular cabbage, broccoli, and cauliflower. Actually, cauliflower, and then broccoli on the end. Again, these plants were looking a little bit rough. They're a bit smaller than last year. They really didn't uh, didn't do as well as in previous years in the uh, the 72 cell packs. But they're in. They're netted. This netting is for bugs. <laughs> the uh, the cabbage white butterfly and all the caterpillars that come with it so this netting will stay on as much as possible most of the time we end up ha harvesting the broccoli cabbage all at once so uh, so it's no problem to leave it on for uh, for the majority of the time patty pans and zucchini went in again the protection is mainly for well it is for the deer it's not for frost or anything uh anything like that we will take these off if it's a bright sunny day but again today was was rainy so it wasn't really uh didn't really matter but in a sunny day during a sunny day these have to come off they will definitely just uh they'll just fry the plants and blueberries looking good some plants putting out leaves sooner than others but Everything will eventually catch up. And yeah, just gotta get in here and do a little bit of weeding. Should have a good crop of blueberries. Now the peppers are taking the old strawberry bed. You saw me use the tractor to just disturb the soil a little bit and get those strawberry plants out. They've been there for about, this will have been their fourth year. After about three years, they really stopped producing berries in the quantity uh, that they they did when they were young plants. And so transplanted a bunch of runners. Most of them made it. Well, we still got a few spots that, uh, that don't have any plants in it. I will be pulling the runners from these plants if they, if they produce any and transplanting them over. Again, the reason I was using that, the backhoe to turn that bed over, once those plants have been there for four years, they're really tough to, uh, to move and yeah i just did not have the energy yesterday but these plants are looking good and i think one of them yeah that one in the corner already has a strawberry forming so won't be the greatest crop of strawberries but we'll get uh we'll get something this year so most of the garden is planted three more beds and then i gotta work on this greenhouse the tomato plants are going to go in the greenhouse as well as the eggplants so we will uh, we'll try and get that ready by next weekend other than that there's just three more beds to turn over and uh, and prep and then we'll put up our fencing to keep the deers out <laughs> the only thing that's left to go in is the um, Butternut, spaghetti squash, some melons, watermelons, and lettuce. So that's what's going to take up 
the rest of these three beds and then we may try to venture down the path and plant some butternuts and spaghetti squash in the the back nine that we've been we've been working on and trying to get a uh, a usable garden space so still lots of work ahead but it's looking a lot better than it did uh, a couple weeks ago so that's it for now i'll see you later